Hey, welcome to Swiss Family. So today I'm going to do a review of the Retire Tire. Uh, they send them to me. There are no conditions attached to this review, so my the opinions expressed in this review are my own. Um, and happy to bring this to you today. So what is the Retire Tire? So the concept is quite innovative. Basically what they do is they sell you a road tire with some zips around and then they sell you on top of that uh, different kind of skins that you can zip onto your road tire. So there are four different types of uh, skins that they sell. The first is the trail rider, uh, which is more like your regular mountain bike tire. Uh, the second is the gravel chaser. Uh, as its name describes, it's a gravel uh, bike uh, tire for gravel roads, not quite as beefy as the trail rider mountain bike tire. Then you have the Winter Traveler, which is more your city bike um, studded tire uh, to prevent slipping on ice. And finally, you have the Ice Racer, which is the version that they sent me, which I'm going to test, uh, which is meant for extreme uh, winter conditions, uh, heavy snow and black ice. Um, as they describe it, it has a soft rubber to provide traction on the snow while also shedding that snow. And most importantly, it has 300 metal studs to really keep the grip on the ice. So how did I test it? Um, well, when they contacted me a few weeks ago, uh, we were still in the dead of winter, snow everywhere. Unfortunately, there were some problems with the size of the tire that they didn't have, and it took a while to get it to me. When they finally did get it to me, uh, a lot of the snow had melted, but actually that worked out quite well for this review because I was able to test it out in a variety of conditions. Uh, so what happened, uh, the situation when I tested these tires is that right outside my home is regular trails, dry, but then further up in the mountains, uh, especially in the forest, there was still a lot of snow. So in the more shaded parts, I had some hard packed icy snow. And then in the afternoons, I had that slushy, uh, wet, deep snow. So I really got to try it out in a variety of conditions and I'm really happy with um, the time I got on these tires to, um, to give you some information for this review. So let's first see also uh, my unboxing video to see what came in the box. And um, I'll show you also a little montage of myself uh, riding around with these tires. Okay, so here's what we have in the box. Um, so just a quick word about Retire. So Retire is a modular uh, tire concept. Uh, the idea is that you have a base tire, an inner road tire, and on top of that, you can zip on skins for different types of tires. So in the box, there was a little booklet uh, with the different types of tires that they have and what they can be used for. Um, on the back, you have a quick summary of the types of tires they have. So there's a, a winter traveler, a gravel, a trail, and an ice um, tire. So I received uh, the inner road tube, and you can see I already uh, took one out here on the side. Uh, this is what's going to be going on my bike's wheel. And then on top of the inner tire, I've got these uh, skins. And so I have received the Ice Racer skin. Um, and you can see that these are uh, adapted for extreme winter conditions, heavy snow, and black ice. So I'm excited to test these out in the days ahead. Uh, we're at the end of the season here, but we still have a lot of snow in the forest. So I'm excited to try that out. In the package, you also have a bicycle tire stud tool and spare studs. Um, so this, I think, is going to be quite useful. I've used other studded tires in the past, and I've always had issues of studs uh, falling out. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be the case with these tires, but it's great that they have a tool to fix that if that problem does arise. Uh, and finally, there seems to be a little bag. I guess this is probably to carry your skins uh, if you switch around, but I'll tell you more about it later. So yeah, excited to put these on the bike and let you know what I think of these skins. Voila! And as per magic, the new 
inner bike t uh, inner tires are on the rims, uh, so it's a little bit weird to see road tires on a mountain bike. But of course, the idea is to put um, the skins on top of this. I'm going to go outside and give these a try, and I'll give you an update. So now I've put the wheels on the bike. It looks a mountain bike with road tires. It looks very very weird. Um, I'm going to put the skins on now and I'm going to time myself. Uh, the advertisement says uh, you can put them on in seconds. Uh, this is my first time, so I haven't tried it yet. So we'll see how long it takes me. I'll try to go as quickly as possible. So let's get started with the timer. All right, that was one minute, 42 seconds. And as you can see, I faffed around quite a bit uh, putting these on, uh, well, putting this one tire on, but it went relatively quickly. It definitely takes me more than one minute and 42 seconds to put a whole new tire on. These seem to fit quite well with hardly any gap here between where the tires connect. But here, there seems to be quite, quite a large gap. See? Nearly, nearly seven millimeters. So I don't know if you're able to see, but it looks like the skin is a bit loose. Okay, so welcome back, back, uh, bike. <laughs> welcome back. Uh, so what did I like about these tires? Uh, so the first thing is the speed. Uh, they are not kidding. This is the big selling point of these tires, the speed for changing the tire. Uh, when I first got these tires, it took me one minute and 40 seconds to switch out, uh, to put a new skin on the tire. And that was without looking at the instructions, first try. So I'm sure that with a little bit of practice, I could get this down to close to a minute. Uh, and that is definitely the big selling point. Um, now, the second thing that I really liked about these tires is the grip. They're not 
kidding about that uh, soft rubber, the traction, I really felt like I was not slipping uh, with these tires. Of course, the caveat is it's never fun to, to, um, to ride a bike in the snow, especially when it's deep snow and you're sinking. Any tire will not make a difference. But where it was hard packed snow and icy, um, these tires worked amazingly. Absolutely no issue. I was able to go no problem. So very happy with the grip. The third thing I liked is the studs. So I've had other winter tires in the past. For every winter tire, you need to break in the studs. So you need to ride at a low PSI on, on road for a while before you take them out onto the trail. I did this uh, with uh, the previous tires. The studs fell out really quickly. I did this with the retires. And I have to say that after a few rides, I cannot yet see a single stud that has fallen out. Now they did send me um, this little stud bicycle tire stud tool and spare studs. Uh, so I am guessing that the studs will fall out at one point in the future, but they haven't fallen out yet, uh, which is not the case with other types of tires that I've had in the past. So, so far, very happy. And the fourth thing that I really like is this little bag. Seems like nothing, but it fits uh, one pair of skins. And I only had one pair of skins to, to test, so I didn't switch them out a lot. But I could imagine if I had, uh, let's say, the trail rider skins and then the ice racer skins and I had to switch back and forth, I'd be really happy to have this bag to put my skins in there and not have to uh, have those muddy skins in my backpack. Now that I'm going to store my ice racer skins for the winter, I'm also going to be using, uh, for the summer, sorry, I'm also going to be using this bag. So those are the four things that I like, the speed, the grip, the bag, and the studs. What did I not like? Um, so the first thing that I really didn't like is the fit. Uh, when you zip the skin onto the road tire, the fit isn't perfect. It's a little bit loose um, and I guess you could add some pressure to the tire to make it tighter, but then you don't want to do that with a mountain bike tire. It, it just wouldn't feel comfortable. Um, a friend asked me, can you really tell the difference when it's loose? Well, yes. And what I would compare it to, but it's not a perfect comparison. When you're riding your mountain bike with, um, with uh, suspensions open, you feel like not all the power is going into each uh, bike stride. Um, that's a little bit what it felt like. So every time I was pedaling, it could also be the snow and the fact that I was on a mountain bike or my mountain bike with shocks. But with these tires, I could feel some difference that um, uh, they were not super, uh, super tight. So that was the one thing that I did not like about um, the fit. The second thing that I didn't like is the weight. So obviously you have two different types of, um, of tires. You have an inner road tire and then this skin that goes over the top. So they're a little bit heavier than regular tires. That's normal. The last thing that I didn't like is the, um, the color, <laughs> the look. I didn't like this blue ring uh, around the tire. That was a bit uh, annoying. Uh, but I mean, that's just your own personal preference. And the last thing, what am I still thinking about? Um, I'm still thinking about this gap that I had in the tire. So what you see in the video uh, is there was a five millimeter gap when I zipped the skin of the back tire. And I'm wondering to what extent dirt will get in there. Um, and if that'll become a problem over time. I did not have the gap on the front tire. So five millimeter gap in the back tire, um, no gap in the front tire, as you can see on the photos or the video, depending on what I put up. Uh, the other thing that I'm wondering about are, are the studs. Let's see, so far so good, none have fallen out, but let's see with time uh, how the studs uh, last. So, uh, in conclusion, like any product review, there isn't a clear yes or no. Uh, for me personally, as a mountain biker, it's more of a no. Uh, the reason being is I already tinker a lot with my mountain bike. I'm checking the shocks, I'm putting oil, I'm washing it. Um, what's an extra 10 minutes to change a bike tire as opposed to one minute? So 
Uh, there are a few times of the year, the shoulder season between fall and winter or between winter and spring, where the conditions are a bit patchy. And yes, I would love a solution to quickly switch in and out. But overall, for most of the year, I think I prefer using a dedicated tire for that part of the season. But uh, who is this tire designed for? And I can very clearly imagine a situation in my life where these would have been the perfect product. Uh, funnily enough, I used to live in Oslo uh, and for a while I was commuting to work by bike. Uh, I didn't do the same kind of maintenance on my city bike, um, just some oil once or twice a season. And of course there were days where I wish I had some more grip, uh, especially for those icy days. Um, the bike also had mud guards, made it slightly more complicated to take the wheel on and off. So this is when I would have loved to have the retire concept and why I understand also that this is a Norwegian company based just outside of Oslo that designed this. Um, when you're waking up in the morning, you have your work clothes on, you get outside and you see, oh, it's icy out. Uh, I don't want to dirty my work clothes. I don't want to take out the tools how great would it be to have this skin that you just zip on the top and in one minute you're out. For me, this is what the retire is for, uh, not so much the mountain biking crowd. Maybe if you're already invested in the system for your city bike and you also have this mountain bike that you use on the weekends, maybe that could be it, but personally not for me. Uh, but very happy with the product. Thank you retire for sending this to me. Um, that's it for the review. Uh, if it was useful to you, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, don't hesitate to ask any questions below in the comments and see you next time. Bye.